hello friends in this video we will find real solution from this given equation x square plus y square is equal to x plus y minus 1 divided by 2 so first of all what will i do i will multiply whole equation with 2 so it will give us 2x square plus 2y square is equal to 2x plus 2y minus 1 okay now let's rearrange this equation so it will become 2x square plus 2y square minus 2x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, I can write it as 2x square minus 2x plus 2y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, it can be written as a quadratic equation in terms of x and also in terms of y. So, I will choose here x. So, if I will compare general form of quadratic equation, so general form will be a ax square. General form is ax square plus bx plus c. And it is equal to 0. So, in this case, a is 2, b is minus 2 and the constant term is 2y square minus 2y plus 1. So, it is the form of a quadratic equation. I will apply here quadratic formula. So, x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and x is equal to minus time minus 2 will be positive 2 plus minus square root of b square will be minus 2 square will be 4 minus 4 times a is 2 and c is 2y square minus 2y plus 1 divided by 2 8 so 2 times 2 is 4 okay so it will be x is equal to 2 plus minus 4 under square root and it will be 4 2 times 8 8 2 times 16 so minus 16 y square and it will be 4 2 times 8 and negative negative will be positive and it will be 16 y 4 2 times 8 8 1 times 8 and negative 8 divided by 4 so x will be equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 sorry it will be minus 16 y square plus 16 y and minus 8 plus 4 will be negative 4 divided by 4 now i can take negative 4 is common from this term so x will be equal to 2 plus minus square root of when i will take negative 4 is common so it will be 4y square minus 4y plus 1 divided by 4. Now, I will take this 4 out of the square root. So, it will become 2. So, x will be equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root of negative of 4y square minus 4y plus 1 can be written as 2y minus 1 whole square because it is the form of a perfect square. As 4y square can be written as 2y whole square minus 2 times 2y times 1 plus 1 square. And it is same as 2y minus 1 whole square divided by 4. Now, here we have 2 is common. So, when I will take 2 is common, so this 2 and this 4, uh, 2, 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 4. So, x will be equal to 1 plus minus square root of minus times 2y minus 1 whole square divided by 2. Now, this term minus 2y minus 1 whole square. No square can be negative. So, what happens when we take discriminant of this minus 2y minus 1 square? So, it should be greater than or equal to 0. But 2y minus 1 and its whole square will be less than or equal to 0. So, something square cannot be negative. Therefore, it has to be 0. Or in other words, discriminants need to be 0. So, 2y minus 1 will be 0. So, it will give us 2y is equal to 1. And y is equal to 1 divided by 2. So, in this case, y is equal to 1 divided by 2. So, as well as x will also be equal to 1 divided by 2. So, 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2 is the solution for this equation. Okay, now I have solved this question 
with first method i can also solve i will also solve this question with second method second method will be what here i have equation x square plus y square is equal to x plus y minus 1 divided by 2 so in this time i will multiply whole equation with 4 so let's see why i will multiply this equation with 4 so it will become 4x square plus 4y square is equal to 4x plus 4y minus 2 okay when i will just rearrange this equation it will become 4x square minus 4x plus 4y square minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 now I can write this 2 as 1 plus 1 so I will write this equation as 4x minus 4x square minus 4x plus 1 plus 4y square minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this 4x square minus 4x plus 1 it is the form of 2x and its square minus 2 times 2x times 1 plus 1 is same as 1 square. Similarly, it will be 2y and its whole square minus 2 times 2y times 1 plus 1 square. And this all will be equal to 0. Now, it is the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, it will be the form of 2x minus 1 whole square plus it will be the form of 2y minus 1 whole square. And it is equal to 0. If 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2y minus 1 whole square is equal to 0, sum of 2 terms square is equal to 0. So, both of them have to be 0. So, it means 2x minus 1 will be equal to 0 and 2y minus 1 will be equal to 0. So, from here, x will be equal to 1 divided by 2 and y will also be equal to 1 divided by 2. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.